two months into a strike that's now grown violent, Guerrero's teachers are back in the streets. They say they won't stop protesting until their demands are incorporated into the government's education reform. Back at their camp, biology teacher Proceso Gonzalez says he'd rather be back at his school teaching students, but that this fight is more important. He says his students are too poor for him to be measured against teachers who have wealthier students in Mexican cities or abroad. Children in our region don't live in the same conditions as those in the big cities. There is such a great disparity that the child from the city will always be ahead. On Wednesday, after Guerrero's state congress passed the reform, violent members of the movement sacked the offices of each of the three main parties. On Thursday, many marchers came dressed for battle, but for the most part, the protest was peaceful. At one point, marchers hurled rocks at the offices of Mexico's largest teachers' union, which they say is corrupt. Despite government warnings that it's out to arrest thousands of people who took part in Wednesday's violent protests, thousands of people filled the streets here in Chilpancingo on Thursday to show their continued opposition to President Enrique Peña Nieto's education reform. This is the first mass mobilization against Peña Nieto since he took office in December. It threatens to put at risk his whole reforms package and his alliance with the opposition. What's clear is that the honeymoon is over. Um, four months into Peña Nieto's administration, this is normal, a hundred days um, later, um, all of a sudden things are starting to come up to the surface. Um, people are realizing that it's not enough just for the old politicians um, to get together and hammer out deals behind closed doors, but they need to actually engage with society. Union leaders here say more than 2,000 teachers from neighboring states will join their movement in the coming days. Authorities are preparing for more confrontations. They say they will not tolerate any more violence. Teachers say they won't back down. The strike has impacted more than 40,000 students across the state. Let them evaluate us, but in our own context. We are both teachers and parents. We have children too, and we know that it's not good for anyone to privatize education. While teachers dig in in Guerrero, the movement is spreading across the country with mass marches planned for Mexico City. Adam Rini, Al Jazeera, Chilpancingo, Mexico.